Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Shout out to the Oscars out there pushing their truth and sincerity. We come out here week in and week out to testify the downfall of America and wake up to the elect of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, that's Judah, Benjamin, the so-called West Indian, Levi, the so-called Haitian, Simeon, the so-called Dominican, Zebulon, that's Guatemala to Panama, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the so-called Cuban, Gad, the so-called North American Indian, Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indian, Nepotale, that's Argentina, I mean Argentina, to Chile, Ashar, the Cubans, to Uruguay, and Iscar, the so-called Mexican. Sorry, the first time. Uh, start off with Matthew. Let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh yeah. Start off in Matthew chapter. Start off in Matthew chapter uh, 26. You can start at verse 1 here. Yeah. Right. Start at 26 and 1. This is Matthew chapter 26, verse 1. And it came to pass when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, you know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the sons of man is betrayed to be crucified. See, in a couple of months, we finna celebrate the high holy day of Israel, known as the Passover, or the Pesach in Hebrew. You see what I'm saying? This is the day to commemorate when the Lord took us up out of the bondage of Egypt and delivered us. See here today, we're again in Egypt all over again. That's right. See what I'm saying? So now we finna celebrate the Passover again in this captivity under Egypt, under this bondage that we in. And we're coming to a point in, uh, in March when the Passover is to celebrate it because it's the first of the year. You see what I'm saying? That, that's really like the, the birth of Yahweh also between uh, March and April, the first of the year. And we and the Lord has finished showing an example of how Israel, one man named Judas Iscariot, that betrayed Jehovah shot. Right. The same way it is in Israel today, you got niggas that call themselves Israelites going to this Passover, finna betray the Lord also. Because you got people already falling out the truth right now, because they betrayed the Lord. They turned their back on the Lord because they, they tired of the suffering. They, they gave up the suffering and, and affliction that they, that they was getting in order to get their treasures in heaven. So they just uh, gave up. Like the scripture say in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Apocrypha and Sirach, wanted them to lose patience. That's right. See what I'm saying? Patience means what? Suffering. So a lot of these dudes claim that they Israelite and love the Lord, but they don't want to suffer in order to get to the kingdom. Because it tell you in Acts, through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. So we have to go through our suffering and bear our cross in order to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders of the people unto the places, I mean, unto the place of, oh, palace. Oh, unto the palace of the high priest who was called Caiaphas. Caiaphas. And consult so that they might take Jesus by uh, subtility. subtility and kill him. See, they were trying to be slick. You know what I'm saying? Try and capture Yahweh shot and take him. See what I'm saying? See, that goes to show you uh, these uh, wicked uh, these wicked chief priests, scribes, and elders of Israel had the same spirit of who? Of Esau. 
Cause he was that same subtile beast back in the garden. See what I'm saying? The same snake that tried to show subtlety is the spirit that's on these wicked uh, chief priests and elders of Israel. That's right. Go ahead, bro. This is Matthew 26 and 5. But they say, not on the feast day, least there be, be an uproar amongst the people. See, we ain't gonna take them on the Passover because there's gonna be a mighty uproar. That's right, because that's a high holy day. That's a celebration of Israel. Go ahead, bro. Now, when Yahushua was in Bethany in the house of Simeon, the leper, the leper, the leper there came unto him a woman having a alabaster, alabaster box of very uh, precious ornament and poured it on his head and his as, as he sat as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying. To what purpose is this, uh, is this waste? For this ointment might, might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Yahushua understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in the for in that she have poured it poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman has done be told for a memory of her. Uh, See, th that woman, that woman that anointed Yehowashai, that was symbolic of Israel. See what I'm saying? Of him being anointed as king over Israel. You get what I'm saying? Just like in the Passover, you have uh, each brother being anointed by the priest as other brothers being anointed as priests during the Passover. You see what I'm saying? So anytime somebody's been anointed in Israel, it's either as a king or as a priest. So we're all being anointed as priests by the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai when we take it at Passover. Then one of the 12 called Judas Wicked chief priests, elders, you know what I'm saying? These wicked people of Israel made, made a, a decree or, or, or an oath with uh, Judas Iscariot. That's how a lot of Israelites in the truth have done Yahweh's shot. They went and made a deal with the devil. You see what I'm saying? With Esau. By taking a covenant with them saying, look, you give us a certain amount of money, we'll go out here and pervert this gospel. And that's what a lot of you sell out Israelites are doing, just like you Israelites that's in the house of consciousness. Now, if you know these dudes are teaching false doctrine by teaching the, the doctrine of Egyptology, which is, which is the study of Egypt, the study of bondage, but you call yourself a Hebrew Israelite, how can you be in league with them unless you sold out? That's right. See what I'm saying? Like the scriptures say in Amos, uh, how can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, me and my brother right here, we couldn't be out here preaching the same doctrine unless we agree. If he believed in one thing and I believed in another, how are we going to come together and preach the same doctrine? We not. Just like in the house of unconsciousness, you have a thousand different doctrines, a thousand different doctrines, but yet somehow all y'all seem to come together when it's uh, 
concerning GMS. That's right. You see what I'm saying? 